Kelly Bailey. I am a diamond in doTERRA as of 2017, and I will be presenting today the way you can learn how to retire in two to four years um, with doTERRA. So this is a really exciting topic. Um, I initially learned some of the information that I'll be presenting here from David Ellis at a leadership retreat that doTERRA put on a couple of years ago. And it really sort of blew my mind. And after that, I heard another presentation by Josh Hesse. And I felt like this information was so important. And I wanted to sort of compile a lot of what I've learned and then add a few additional things that I think really bring it home um, in order to paint a picture of how amazing network marketing can be for your financial future and for your time freedom and just your sanity and your stress levels. Um, there are so many people who are stressed out in their current jobs, they're working nine to five, they're in the rat race, and they're just not fulfilled in life. And they're, they're going to get to the end of their working years and look back and say, you know, that wasn't worth it. I don't want to, I don't, I wish I hadn't done it that way. I wish there had been another way. So you're going to learn today sort of another way to earn income and why I believe doTERRA is a great fit for someone who wants to do network marketing. Um, I'm going to teach you today how you can set up retirement income within two to four years. You could actually do this a little quicker than that. Um, we did as a couple, but it's not typical. So we're kind of using that two to four year time frame as a good benchmark. Um, and you're going to learn how if you utilize the next two to four years of your life, you can create something that will pay you for the rest of your life so that you can enjoy your life and travel and be with friends and family or even pursue other interests that you're really passionate about. And you're going to be able to do all that if you harness the power of network marketing and specifically doTERRA. So I hope that you will enjoy this. I'm very excited. This is a presentation that I put on in our home about once a month for our local teammates and anyone they want to bring. And it's been really well received. It's my most requested class. And I wanted to finally record this so that it can be available to other people who are not necessarily local to the Nashville area. So enjoy, and we're going to get started. So a little bit about my husband, Nate, and I, and our two little kids. We've got Juliet and Micah that you see on the right. They are the loves of our life. Um, we just, we want so much to be present in their lives and to be able to really create memories with them. And we homeschool, and we're able to just, be a big influence in their life, and doTERRA has allowed us to do that. My husband um, is a real estate agent. He's really great at that, and he's very passionate about it, so this is something he's probably always going to do. Um, doTERRA is really my thing. He is um, very supportive, very very sweet, and um, allows me the time and freedom that I need to build our doTERRA business, but it's been really, really neat to see how in a very short amount of time we could create something that is paying us very well and allowing us that kind of freedom that some people only dream of and that will, they'll never attain. So one of the things we're most passionate about besides just the products in doTERRA are, is the income opportunity. And we will share it freely because we believe in it so much. And if you look at our upline listing in our back office, and I've shown this, um, some of you have seen it if you're watching this, um, it, about 15 people up, they're diamonds, blue diamonds, presidential diamonds, the majority of the people in that list, like 80, 85 percent probably, um, are high-ranking leaders in doTERRA, and that is not by accident. Um, this is not one of those companies where you can't succeed unless you're a specific type of person, and maybe only the few elite people ever make it to um, those higher ranks where you can really um, live freely. Um, and, and you can see that if you look at our upline listing. So we've met most of these people. They're really down to earth, normal, standard people that are just really great and they didn't give up. So um, this doTERRA is not a company that you have to be a specific type of person to make it work. I truly believe anyone can do it. And it just takes tenacity and sticking with it, being a problem solver when things happen that you're not really sure how to handle, and being able to reach out for help. So I hope that you'll see that this is attainable for you. If it's something that you're wanting to do, um, reach out to us. We will help you get connected with a leader that can help walk you through it. If it's not us, it can be someone on our team if you're not already working with someone else. But um, take this information. Uh, feel free to share it with anyone you'd like. And that's a little bit about us. So now we're going to talk about you. 
I want to ask a couple of questions. I really want you to think about these and answer them kind of in your own head as we go through this. Is everything in your life exactly how you'd like it to be? If money was out of the equation, would you still work at your current job? Some people would say yes to this, and that's awesome that you've got something that you feel fulfilled in, but I think 90% or more of people are not in that position. Um, they really would rather be doing something else with their day, and I feel like life is way too short to do something that you hate and to dread your Mondays and to look forward to your Fridays and, and not be living a life that's fulfilling. So think about that and see if, if you would really be at your current job if you didn't need the money. What would you change about your life, your job, your financial situation? Um, if you could just make a wish list right now and think of the things you would change if you could, do any of those include things about your job or financial situation? What financial goals are you wanting to accomplish? Are you wanting to set up retirement income? Are you wanting to travel? Do you want to pay off debt? Um, my husband and I are very interested in being completely debt free and we're just about there. So um, we, don't, we don't carry credit cards and things like that. And one of our big goals in life is to not owe anyone anything. And we're very, very close to having that house paid off and being able to do that. So we um, want you to think about the financial goals that you're wanting to accomplish. And if you haven't made any, this is a great time to make some because if you don't know what you're aiming for, you're going to have a hard time reaching it. And how long have you been trying to get ahead? And is it working? So let's say you're, you're watching this and you're 40 or 50 years old. You've been in your job for a while. You've been in different jobs for a while. And you're still paycheck to paycheck. Or you're just one disaster away from a financial situation? Um, do you have enough saved up where you could you know, live for six months if you needed to without any income? So if you've been doing what you've been doing for a while and you haven't seen the results or you're still just so on the edge with how much you need and how much you're actually making, then you have to really ask yourself, is this working for me? And if it's not working for me, I need another plan. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Um, I do want to mention briefly before we get into this next slide, there's a concept that we kind of throw around in doTERRA, and it is the concept of hauling buckets versus building a pipeline. So hauling buckets is what most people do in a nine to five. They come in, they clock in, maybe they're on salary, but they only get paid for the work that they do. Um, if, you know, For me, earlier I was a graphic designer and I did logo designs for people. And if I decided one week I wasn't going to do any logo designs, no one was paying me anything. I was actually, uh, I had to be in front of my computer and I had to be producing things in order to create income. And that's where most Americans are. But more and more people are growing um, fond of the idea of network marketing and residual income. And if you're not familiar with what residual income is, it's basically income that comes in whether or not you're working. So what we kind of recommend people do is to build a pipeline. So instead of hauling buckets, so if you can imagine maybe a person who lives in a village and he makes his money by um, hauling buckets from the creek or the stream, you know, up on the mountain down to the people in the town, and he sells a bucket every time he brings it down, versus someone who decides, you know what, I'm going to do that. I'm going to work my, quote, day job and haul buckets all I want, but in the extra time that I have, after I've taken care of my family's needs, I'm going to spend that time building a pipeline and digging through rocks and overcoming obstacles so that I can, after a couple of years, have a pipeline going from the stream. Everyone can have fresh water. It's going to cost them less. I'm going to have money that comes in regardless of if I'm working. And so that concept is the same as the concept of creating residual income with doTERRA or with a network marketing company because you work hard for a couple of years, two to four years, and you create something that's going to continue to pay you for a lifetime. It's a really brilliant concept. So there's a video on this. You can look up um, pipelines and hauling buckets on YouTube and you can see the video, but um, I just wanted to sort of explain it a little bit before we move on to this next slide. So many people don't know this, but by the age of 65, most Americans are not able to actually retire. So that's the plan, and all along we're thinking, okay, we retire at 65, but the reality is, at that point, 45% of Americans are depending on their relatives. They're either living with them or needing financial assistance from um, relatives that they have. 30% depend on charities or the government. 
So they're needing to subsidize their income with some sort of um, charitable contribution or government contribution um, to be able to just meet their basic necessities. And 23% are still working because they can't afford to quit. And we've all seen the lady in Walmart who's, you know, probably in her 80s and she looks a little tired. She's got a smile on her face. She's working at Walmart greeting people. And to me, I see that and I love smiling at them and, and having a nice conversation. But I know that that's not what they had pictured for their life, most likely. They would like to be resting and actually enjoying the retirement years, but they're not able to do that because they didn't have enough um, to live on once they completed that, you know, typical 40 years of working. So I want you to think about if this is the percentage of Americans who don't make it work, can't retire successfully, how many are self-sustaining? 2%. So that means that 2% of Americans who work and they pay their dues are actually able to retire at age 65. This is a really sobering statistic, and if you're nearing the age of 50 or so, you're probably thinking more about retirement than you might be if you're in your 20s and you're watching this. But I want you to think, 2% of people are actually able to retire at age 65. And that just tells me most people are not going to be able to do that. My dad actually did this. We were, we were grateful that he you know, had a really good business sense and he did well in his work and he was able to retire. So I didn't realize until much, much later in life that this was not the standard. Um, this is not how most people live. And I don't want to be that person who's still working um, because I have to after the age of 65. So we're going to talk in this video how to ensure that you're not going to be one of those people. So there's a few basic ways that people plan for their retirement. One is social security, and I, I call it social insecurity. Um, and actually, uh, Jesse, uh, Josh Hesse referred to it as this, and some of these pictures are actually from his uh, presentation. But the social insecurity is determined by your top 35 earning years. So the maximum contribution that you can put in um, annually is six hundred or sorry, seven thousand three hundred and forty-seven dollars, which comes to about six hundred and twelve dollars monthly. That's the most you can ever contribute to your Social Security. Your employer, if you are employed by someone who's helping you with this and you're not self-employed, they're going to pay the same amount on your behalf and match it. So the maximum payout in 2016 for those who retired at age 66 was twenty-six hundred dollars, thirty-nine dollars. I am struggling with my numbers today. Forgive me. $2,639. So that's the most um, that you could get monthly if you had earned $118,500 all 35 years of your contribution years. That's the most you could earn per month. That is poverty level in the U.S., okay? So if you're relying on Social Security, and you think that that's going to pay your bills, it's not going to be enough. So that's actually the good news. The bad news is if you retire early, it decreases your Social Security. If you don't earn that $118,000 a year during your earning years, that's going to decrease your Social Security. If the government intervenes and changes anything, that's going to affect it. And a lot of resources right now are saying that the fund is on track to run out of money by the year 2035. So I'm in my uh, 30s right now, and I've been told, you know, there will be no Social Security for us by the time I need it. So I'm not relying on this, and I hope that you aren't either. Um, hopefully this will paint a good picture of how this is not a good plan. <laughs> so the second escape plan is known as the nest omelet, and I had actually never heard of this until um, Josh mentioned it in, in his presentation. But what I thought was really interesting is there's a... A kind of a strategy for planning out your nest egg that basically you choose <laughs> you and your financial planner will choose an age at which you know you no longer will have money so basically if you think you're gonna live till 85 they'll plan it out to where you have enough money to live till you're 85 and if you live past that you're just kind of out of luck because there's not going to be any money for you so you're essentially trying to die before you run out of your nest egg. And that's insane to me. And I, I'm very surprised it even exists, but apparently it does. So we're going to move on to another plan people have is the nest egg strategy. So this is what most people think to do when they're wanting to um, create some more retirement income. 
and set that up for themselves. And, um, and a lot of people are considering it to be something that they'll do in addition to earning their social security income. So we're going to kind of talk about, this is the concept of putting money back regularly so that you can draw it, draw on it when you're retired. So one way to do this is with a typical 401k and these numbers change, but right now, you know, yielding about a 6% return is what they're averaging. Um, in order to figure out how much money you'll need with your uh, 401k, you need to take your annual income that you want to have, divide it by the return rate, and that equals what you need in your nest egg. So if you needed $60,000 annually to live, which is what a lot of people say is just their average, and that's kind of the numbers we'll be working with today. If you need $60,000 annually, you'll divide that by 6%, and that's the interest rate you would re, you know get on that return, and you would need $1 million saved up in your retirement account in order to pay out that $60,000 a year. So in order to do that, you would need 20 years of contributing to this fund. You would need to contribute about $2,100 a month for those 20 years. And this is all based on a 6% return. That can obviously go up and down. Um, so it's not really guaranteed. So again, there's some more uncertainty built in with this. So with that $2,150 a month, you've got a total, total annual contribution of $25,800. That's not very much to live on, especially when, or sorry, that's the contribution. So that's how much you would need to put in in order to be able to have $60,000 a year after you retire. So how many of you have $25,000 extra a year that you're willing to just throw into your 401k? If that's not just sitting around and you're willing and able to put that in there, then you're, and, and do that for 20 years, you're not going to have enough in your retirement account to retire on comfortably. So I hope this is painting a good picture for you. Um, you might be feeling some pain right now. Pain occurs when expectations don't meet reality. Um, very easy to not think about retirement when you're in your younger years. As you approach retirement age, people do start thinking about this more. But um, if you're just now thinking about it and you're realizing this is not looking good for me, um, you're experiencing some pain. And you, you're going to experience some suffering too if you feel like there's nothing you can do to change it. But what I want to do today is to give you an alternative solution that literally can solve your retirement problem within two to four years. So let's move on. We're going to talk about the other way. I'm so excited. So how would your life change if you could build a $1 million asset in two years? Okay, so we're going to do, look on the left side of the screen now. We're going to talk about the traditional way, which we sort of touched on. Um, you could do, let's say, $1,000 a month, put it into your retirement savings account. Assume that there's no market downturns, that we don't have another 9-11 that we don't have any major emergencies that you have to tap into or cash out that fund. You're going to assume a 6% return, which is not guaranteed whatsoever. And you're going to work for 30 of your best years. And finally, after all of that, you're going to get your $5,000 monthly when you retire. A better way on the right hand side is to create a cash flowing asset that generates $5,000 monthly. So you're going to enjoy the best 30 years of your life. You're going to continue receiving $5,000 a month. And you're going to have an asset that you can pass on and will to your children or your grandchildren and leave a legacy for them. Doesn't this sound like a better way? There is one more thing I need to mention, though. Inflation. Inflation's a jerk. It actually doubles what you need to put into your um, retirement fund. So you would actually need more like $2,000 a month. For 30 years of your best working years, then you'll receive that $5,000 monthly. So if you're thinking this better way on the right looks like a really better way, this is a network marketing way, and this is a doTERRA way. So we're going to keep talking about that. Your problem is not saving more. Some of us could save more. Some of us are really so strapped for cash you can't. Um, the problem is cash flow. You need a steady flow of cash coming in, whether or not you're working, in order to create really um, amazing freedom in your life. So this is, this is the doTERRA way of creating a $1 million asset. This is, again, assuming the annual income that, uh, divided by the return rate, and then that's the asset value. So we're going to go down. We're going to start with silver. The average silver in 2015 
from doTERRA's earnings and disclosure summary, made $26,600. It takes the average person 18 months to reach that rank. I've actually seen 13 months as well. I'm not sure which one is the most accurate at this point, but either way, within a year and a half, you can create that sort of income. Um, the asset value compared to a nest egg with a 6% return is $443,000. Um, I know I'm throwing around a lot, of, a lot of numbers here, but this comes down to that uh, you're basically assuming that the income that you're making at that silver rank is that income you would earn from interest if you actually had that $443,000 in the bank. So by the time you've reached silver, it's as if you've spent, um, you've actually been able to save $443,000 and you put it all in your retirement fund. That is incredible, and to know that the average time to rank is 18 months, you can do it much faster than that. We did it in 60 days, um, just hustling, and with God's favor, we were able to do that. So definitely, um, you can do it faster. But gold is the one I really want to focus on. So right under silver, you'll see gold, and the average annual earnings for a gold-ranked member in doTERRA is 59000 a year. And we've been talking about a $60,000 a year income being really what most people say they need in order to retire comfortably. And so for our purposes moving forward, we're going to talk about reaching the rank of gold um, and average time to rank. Average time to rank is just slightly over two years. And it's as if you've saved a million dollars. And you've put that in your retirement fund and it's giving you 6% return. Um, we did this in eight months from the first class that we taught. So again, you can do this at whatever pace you want. You can, you can just hustle and spend as much time as you can in the beginning and really grow that quickly, or you can take your time. But either way, in a little over two years, you could have the retirement income everyone's wanting that's going to come to you monthly regardless of if you're still doing all of these things. Now there is just a disclaimer, there's some maintenance that you need to do with your doTERRA team. But if you're growing your leaders up properly, then they're managing their own teams and you're not having to spend all the time that you would in a typical job. Um, most diamond leaders I've talked to work 10 to 20 hours a week and we're diamonds as well. And it just sort of varies how much time we spend, but sometimes it is as little as 10 and sometimes it's, you know, if we're shooting for something or doing a lot of training or traveling to build up our teams, we might spend more like 20 or 30 hours a week. Um, but it's, it's in seasons for sure. And um, at this point, we have other goals besides just diamond. You can see the blue diamond down here at the bottom, and that's something that we're definitely wanting, so we continue to press on. But you can definitely create a gold-level income with a couple years of hard work. So that's going to be kind of the premise. You can see the other ranks here and the average earnings for those ranks and how long it typically takes people to reach it. But I just want you to see the value of creating something that's going to pay you um, moving forward and that I can say, you know what, my daughter's taking an interest in doTERRA and when she turns 18, I can give this to her. I can, I can even create a team for her or, you know, will, will this to her or my, her and my son both um, if that's something I want to do down the road. So it's pretty neat that it doesn't die with you. So that's pretty unique. Okay, so this slide, we're going to talk about a typical class and the earnings you would make from that class and just sort of break it down a little bit. So we're going to assume that you spend about five hours inviting, teaching, and following up for a class. Let's say three people enroll with the smallest intro kit and you'll get $67.50 in that first little fast start check you'll get from that class. That's not a whole lot for your time. If those three people order 100 PV monthly, you're going to create a $50 a month bonus that you get directly from doTERRA. This is the power of three bonus. So $50 a month isn't going to change your life, but it's equal to having put back $12,000 in the bank earning 5% interest. So that makes that class and that five hours you spend on that class look like a lot like it's worth a lot more than just that $67 and that $50 um, monthly check that you created. So this is just to show you that little amount of work created something that's going to pay for a lifetime. And you're going to get that $50 for a lifetime as long as those people are ordering. Um, now, obviously, those same three people may not order 100 PV a month, but my personal experience was 
I had my very first class. Lots of people came. Um, I didn't even teach it. My enroller, Lindsay, taught it. And uh, ever since then, we've been getting our $50 a month bonus. We've actually it's grown to $1,500. So that's, an, that's another whole subject. But um, the value of this is just that this is residual income. And you can do something once and have a lot set back in your bank account. So that one class was worth $12,000. So it kind of makes you want to host a class. So if you're thinking about it, call me up. <laughs> so next we're going to talk about why doTERRA. And why is doTERRA a great way to build this residual income that we've sort of built up to be this amazing thing? So that's a great question. The executives have over 80, 180 years of combined experience, um, both in network marketing and in the essential oil industry. So they're really, really um, knowledgeable they have a heart for this. They really want to change the world, and they are changing the world with natural health care. It's a debt-free company. Again, this really resonates with my husband and I because we also strive to live a debt-free life. And um, to know that they've got the same goals and they're not beholden to anyone is really important to me. They'll never go public. This is really, really good. They'll never sell, which is even better. So one thing that some people don't realize about network marketing companies is a lot of times it's just a game to these people. So someone will create a new network marketing company and they have a, maybe a wonderful product, but then they they let it run for a couple years and people get really excited to earn income with their company. And then they'll change the, um, the comp plan negatively. Our competitor actually, I found out that they actually had um, changed their comp plan negatively that actually impacted their um, reps eight times just in the time that the person was talking about that they had been with them. That is insane to me. I cannot imagine creating an income that I am relying on to take care of my family or a single mom even, you know, taking care of her kids with an income. And then they just change the plan. And all of a sudden I'm making half of what I used to. I cannot imagine that. So Tara's changed their comp plan one time in eight or nine years. I think they're nine years now. And that was to give us another bonus. They added a premier bonus that, that never existed before. And so what I've seen over and over is that this company has heart and integrity, and they truly want us to succeed. They don't need any more money. They want us to succeed, and they want to change the world. So this is really, really important. Um, the reason that some companies will change the comp plan is to make their bottom line better so that they can set it up to sell. And then once they sell, the person who takes over may not have the same heart for the company that they did. And all of a sudden, you're, you're basically at the mercy of whatever this new person decides to, to do with the company. And so I'm really grateful to know they're never going to do that. They're always going to be the same owners. And um, that just gives us a lot of stability. So I would definitely not join another company that you don't know that for sure. So we're going to talk about retention rate later, but I'm, so I won't mention it now. Um, the next slide, I believe, has some information on that. And doTERRA is one of the fastest growing companies in the entire industry. So you would be shocked to see um, the rate of growth that this company has had. Again, they're nine years old. They are the largest MLM, um, which is multi-level marketing, direct selling company in the U.S. And they're in the top ten in the world. So you think about these big names that we've kind of grown up knowing about you know, Avon and Shackley and um, there's an Advocare and, and companies like that. And a lot of them have a lot of respect, but we've actually grown bigger than any of them. And we've done it because there's a lot of integrity and heart in this company. They're selling a product that anyone can use and they're doing it just with the highest level of quality in the industry. So really, really grateful to be partnered with them. They're the largest essential oil company in the world. Um, the last I checked, they were three to four times larger than the next competitor. So we're going to keep going. There's been approximately 40,000 direct sales or network marketing companies um, in the U.S. And I'm pretty sure this is just the U.S. But there's only $9 billion companies total in the U.S. Okay, this is not just network marketing companies. This is $9 billion companies in the U.S. The fastest company to ever hit a billion dollars did it in 14 years. This was Apple. doTERRA did it in four years. So doTERRA became a billion dollar company in seven years, twice as fast as Apple, 
And we all know Apple has a lot of respect. They've got a lot of innovation. And they've, they've been the fastest company to ever do it until doTERRA. So when you're kind of looking at, you know, I see a lot of my friends and family, not, not necessarily family, but a lot of my friends are doing different network marketing companies. And they'll pop up and they'll start selling lipstick or they'll start selling, you know, leggings or Tupperware or nail stickers or uh, who knows. There's so many different things. And that's fine. If you just really love those products, go for it. But if you're really wanting something that's going to last, why not sell <laughs> a product that has been around since the beginning of time that has a therapeutic benefit? So you're actually changing people's lives and their health and their emotional health with the product. Um, I just, just me personally, if I'm going to spend my time and energy doing something, I need to know that I'm really making a difference in life. And when I get texts and calls from people saying that something I gave them changed their life and changed their child or their health situation forever, that is so rewarding to me. Um, so to be able to partner with doTERRA and now I'm really helping people is huge. So I mentioned retention rate earlier. So the industry standard for retention rate, and this just means how many people who start purchasing product continue purchasing product. You'll see the 10 and the 20% here. The differences in those are just that they're measuring it after three months and then again after a year. So you'll see, you know, 20% is three month mark. People are still using the product and then 10% industry standard is what people are still um, using the product after a year. So what that means is if you enroll 10 people in your company and nine of them drop off, you're having to replace those people constantly in order to keep your income level up. doTERRA's <laughs> retention rate is the highest in the industry. It's amazing. 65% um, of people are still purchasing the product after a year and 75%. And I think it's actually more than that now. I've heard upper, uh, upwards of the, in the 80s somewhere. 75% um, of people are still using the product after three months. So what this means for you is you don't have a revolving door where people are coming in and out of your business constantly. And if you're really showing them the value of what they purchased from you, they're going to continue to use it because number one, the product works. Number two, it is very consumable. So as they run out of their lemon oil or their lavender or their sleeping aid or whatever it might be, they're going to need more of that. Um, it's a very popular uh, network marketing company that I actually do love their products, but I purchased some things about three years ago, a very small order, and it's lasted me, and I don't, haven't needed it again. So I feel bad for my, my poor friend who sold it to me, but you know I really don't need anything else. It's a product that lasts, and it's, it's literally she made that one sale on me, and, and maybe in a couple years I'll need something else, but that's the things you need to consider when you're deciding what network marketing company you're going to um, partner with and what you're going to spend your time doing. So think about that. This is fun. So this is a little timeline of someone's life. Okay. So little Sam, he's born and he graduates from school and he does his 40 years of working for someone. So this is the biggest chunk of his life. You can see it at 65. Hopefully he retires and maybe he dies around 80. Okay. So these are the golden years you'll see on the right. You spend a lot of your money to get your health back at this point. So you've worked your whole life, and I've got my little cursor here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but you've worked all of these amazing years of your life, and you hope you get to the end and you can retire. But then you're kind of getting older. You maybe don't have the energy you used to have, and all those things you wanted to do in your retirement years, a lot of times you're just trying to get your health back. So we've talked about kind of a... Well, this is a $4,500 a month. Some people say they need about $5,000 a month. So we're looking at a $54,000 to $60,000 a year income that needs to be residual for most people to comfortably retire and spend their golden years happy, okay? So that means you need a little more than a million dollars saved up, and this is earning an interest rate of 5%. So you'll see a little difference in the percentages, and this is just because interest rates really do change and a lot of times you're not getting 5% even that, but sometimes you're getting more or less. So this is just um, for the purpose of argument. So 98% of people in America are retiring today. They're either dependent on social security, family, or charities, or they're still having to work. 2% of people get it right 
and they're actually able to retire right here. So I'm going to give you an alternative plan. This is the plan we're on. <laughs> get born, you're graduating, you spend two to four years of your life building a pipeline instead of hauling buckets, and you've got 60 plus years to enjoy your life. And this, this two to four year um, time period could be at, at any point. You could start when you're 50, you could start when you're 70. Um, there's really no limit to when you can start a doTERRA business. But whenever you created that pipeline, you've got all this time to enjoy your life. It's a beautiful thing. And I actually added five years to this, um, and I say you die happy, you know? Maybe you even make it past 85, but um, to not have the stress and to be working, you know, for the man that 40 years of your life and being able to really enjoy it, I really do believe will increase the quality of your life and allow you to even live longer. This is the doTERRA way, um, much better than this other way. So now that we've kind of talked about how you can... Um, just start to open your mind to the idea of network marketing. Look over this list and see what your why is. What do you think resonates the most with you? Or maybe it's something that's not even on this list, but why would you like to embrace network marketing? Is it because you want more time with your kids? You don't like how much your spouse has to work? You need to have peace of mind or build a legacy? Um, you, you know, changing lives, you want to share your success with others, you want to build long-term financial security, be able to quit your job, which we've had so many people on our team quit their job since they started doTERRA, and I love that. Um, help people find a new way of life, get out of debt, be able to retire, own your home free and clear, travel the world, have true freedom, and do what you want when you want. How great would it be if you didn't have to ask your boss for time off to go do things that you want to do? Um, that's the life that we live now. And so one of the things I love to do most is to encourage people to step out of their comfort zone and really learn how to create income and, and wealth even um, and time freedom with network marketing because it's a legit business and doTERRA specifically is a great company to partner with. If you join our team, you're going to have a lot of support. Um, there are other teams, of course, that offer a lot of support. So if you're watching this and you've already um, gotten connected with another team, please reach out to them and, and tell them what your goals are so that you can reach the ranks that you need to create income and, and freedom in your life. And if you don't have someone you're working with, please connect with us um, or connect with the person who invited you to watch this video. So at this point, you can decide what your goal is. So some people just want to get their oils paid for. Maybe they want to you know, use the oils for their family and be able to have that covered with commissions. So that would be about a $100 to $300 a month um, income range. You can do this really easily with one to two hours of work a week. So this would just be sharing with your friends when you're out and about what's worked for you, maybe making samples for people. Um, you're going to have about $125 monthly cost, and that's just your LRP order that you need to place in order to be eligible for income. And I've got the Essential Life book. I think that's pretty necessary. Um, you might prefer Modern Essentials, but you need some sort of uh, reference book so that you can help your friends and family and know how to use your oils properly. So if you want to supplement your income and make between one and $3,000 a month, you need to up your time commitment a little bit, maybe spend closer to 45 minutes a day working your business. Commit to six months without giving up. Um, I say don't ever give up, but if you can commit to six months, you'll see some return for sure. You still have to have your LRP and you need to have some written goals and attend events in your area. There's lots of great doTERRA events and you need to have a reference book. To replace your income, this is someone who wants to earn, you know, in that gold and up range, gold to presidential diamond. Um, again, the diamond income, I think, was an average of $16,000 a month. Um, that's really life-changing income. So if you want to do that, you're going to need to commit to 7 to 10 hours or more per week to build your business. And this is someone who's really treating it like a business. Um, you can certainly create income without um, spending that much time. But if you're wanting this to be a business, then definitely need to commit to it and give it the time it deserves. Um, give it a year um, before you even think about backing down. And you're still going to have that monthly investment, written goals, attending events, and having a book. So you don't have to be, to be great to start, but you do have to start to be great. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking, oh, 
this is great, but I don't really know like how to begin. What you want to do is reach out to the person who invited you to watch this video. If you just stumbled across it, I would love for you to reach out to me. We have a website, www.healthcenteredlife.com, and you can email or call me from there. I would love to set you up with our training system, an eight-week training system that's absolutely top-notch. You can learn everything you need to know, and we've even got a really unique opportunity to get online leads um, from a a master social media networking uh, partnership that we've created. So our upline has done a lot of work to create something that would allow you to build your business very fast. And it is a really neat opportunity, which I can tell you about if you reach out. The last slide, a year from now, you'll wish you'd started today. I totally can relate to this because my friend Lindsay invited me to it an essential oil class and it took me a year to say yes. And I really wonder sometimes what would have happened if I had said yes right away. And if I had spent that six months that I typically, you know, that I spent initially um, learning about the products and whatnot and then deciding to do the business, where would I be now if I'd started a year earlier? There's no room for regret, though. I started when I started, and I'm so grateful. It's changed our life in such a great way. My kids are able to see me. They're able to be with me. We make memories. We can travel without worry. And my husband can work for fun. And that is just a truly remarkable experience. So I invite you to consider network marketing. Consider doTERRA. Um, if you're not sure yet, if you're not convinced yet, hop on the phone with me. I would love to chat it out with you and see, you know, what, what capacity it would work for you to, to build this income and this time freedom. It's a life-changing decision that you'll make, and I hope you will make it. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Please share it. Um, again, thank you so much to Josh Hesse and um, to David Ellis for some of this information that I used to compile this presentation. And you guys have a great day.